one of the feedback comments we got from users about the line balancing was it was just too easy to use. In other words, you could come into any process and just start dragging work content around from station to station anywhere you like. And of course, the problem then becomes trying to remember what you just did. If we make it that easy to move information around, how are you possibly going to keep track of what you've done here? We've come up with a solution for this in the new version 12. And that solution you can see over here under the summary option in the balancing area. We've expanded these options from just the balancing to have this option here with original. You can see you can set an original state. You can revert to an original state. You can get a change report here. You can also view the original and you can view the current here. And here we are back in the original state of the process we just showed you. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to go to the summary tab here, and here are the balancing options. And let's say you want to keep track of changes. You can come in here, click on the drop down here, and you can set the original. And what's going to happen is it's going to assign a color to each of the stations in your line here. You can see it's automatically setting these colors here. And therefore, if you go here and you go to the balance, and you say perhaps you want to run with, let's say, four operators, put four in here, you click on the balance, you click on the details, you click on display, it will move the activities around. So you can just go here to the view current and it will change the color here. And the colors of course are the same colors you saw in the original line balance. And if you hover over it you can see it actually tells you what the original station was in red at the bottom with a little pop-up box. So the original station here came from stack parts. The original station here came from buff three parts. The original station here was handle assembly. You can revert to your original status just by going back up to the original here and say revert to original. Are you sure you want to revert to the original balance? You get to confirm it, you'll say yes, and it puts you right back to where you were here. If I just click on the view original, it's a toggle between the default value added view and the colors assigned when you set the originals here. So you can just click on it back and forward here. So what I did originally, I came in and I just started dragging what content around from different stations. I'm just doing it random here to show you how it works. And obviously you can't remember what you've done at this point. You click on the view current and it will change the colors. And then you can point to any activity and it will tell you where that activity came from. Again, looking at the red item at the bottom here. So it's very easy to see where everything came from here. And then if we want a report on this, we can click on the originals and we can say change report. And the information is going to be sent out to Excel here. You can see it popping right in here. Now what it's done here is created a view current versus original. And here is the current. This is after the changes have been made. And if I scroll down, you can actually see the original uh, line balance here. You can grab this. You can size this any way you want. It's just an image of the process here. And over here in the line balance change summary, it's actually documenting it. So you can see my current task uh, mold parts. The task sequence is number one. Here are the element sequences. And here are the videos. You've actually got the videos linked in here. So you can click here and play back the videos directly back from this report as you can through many of the areas in Timer Pro here. And over here, it tells you where they originally came from. You can see if you look at the sequence here, one, two, three, four, five, and then a seven. And that activity was moved down here. You can see it originally was in mold parts. Task sequence number one and the element sequence number six. The colors here are actually the same colors we've assigned automatically by selecting the set the original. And you can see here, it's telling you where everything's moved here. This is your summary report of all the changes that you generated by moving the work content around. And if you want to click on the view current, it will show you the view current. And that's exactly what you're seeing in the change report that's been sent out. If you want to get back to where you were at any point in time, you simply come in here and you can say revert to original. Confirm with the original you want to go back, it will be right back to where you were before you began.